Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Derek. And I'm Catherine, and this is the guidebook. This weekend we are going to be backpacking Bear Lake and Kroenke Lake in the Collegiate Peaks Wilderness. Mm -hmm. Tonight we're heading up to camp near Bear Lake, and then tomorrow night we'll be coming a portion of the way back down, and then back up the Kroenke Lake Trail to camp up near Kroenke Lake. The Bear Lake Trail is about 10.8 miles round trip with about 2,500 feet of elevation gain, and the Kroenke Lake Trail is about 8.4 miles round trip with about 1,700 feet of elevation gain, but we don't have to do that whole trail since we're gonna hike a portion of it today. One of the nice things about this trail is that it follows streams pretty much the whole way, so we don't have to carry in a ton of water. We can just stop at the streams and filter water whenever we need more. <laughs> Little bridge over the river, about 2.3 miles in. About 2.4 miles in, we just reached the junction for Bear Lake and Kroenke Lake. Tonight we're going to go up to Bear Lake, and then tomorrow we'll come back down this and then head up that way to Kroenke Lake. The sky that way looks very ominous, and it looks kind of ominous this way too. It looks really nice over here, so hopefully that sky moves this way and we don't get poured on. We talked to a few people lower down on the trail and they said that they were camping up the lake last night and got poured on. So hopefully that doesn't happen for us. First real view of the mountains on the trail. Another tiny little stream crossing. Frankie's a little timid and she wants to follow Catherine on the log even though the water will be easier for her. Ooh. Dang, she did so good. Did she do it? Yeah, she stayed on the log like until that rock right there. The storm appears to be moving in on us. Hopefully we can get our tent set up before it starts raining. Three and a half miles in, starting to see some campsites. We got one right here. And there's another one tucked in the woods back there. There's been a few of these pretty muddy sections here. Some beautiful wildflowers off the side of the trail. Getting rained on now. We might just try to look for the next campsite we can so we don't get too wet. But if it you know stays like this or trails off at all, we might keep pushing and try to get like the farthest campsite up we can. Just made it up to the junction for Columbia and Harvard. We're heading up towards Harvard. This is beautiful up here. Look at this. The rain has stopped. It's kind of clear enough, actually. Just got to probably the most legitimate water crossing so far. Still doesn't look too bad. We found a campsite up here. We're above the main tree line by a good bit. When we were looking up this way, it looked like it was more of a dense forest up this way, so we kept hiking. And we did end up finding a nice little site right up here. There are still some trees and everything, so we're not gonna be the tallest point. And the weather does appear to be kind of turning. So hopefully we don't even have to deal with any more rain. But we found a site right up here. Nice existing site. And it is kind of, a high point, but we still have some trees above us. So if it does start raining, hopefully water doesn't like pool right around our tent. We're gonna get our tent set up real quick just in case it does start raining so we don't get caught with our pants down. And then we'll maybe make some dinner. You hungry? Yes. <laughs>
Look at this view from our campsite. This is amazing. Yeah, look at this right from camp. This is so pretty. Really hope it doesn't rain anymore. I'm glad we were able to get our tent set up with it not raining out and actually keep all of our stuff dry. Yeah. That would not have been fun setting up stuff wet. Flavor magic is what this is labeled. Oh yeah. My hands are like a weird scent of like bug spray and boom flavor oil. No, ma'am. Frankie. Leave it, Frankie. And then we just let her cook. I'm so excited. This guy's looking a little ominous again, so I'm gonna head down and fill up our three liter bee free with some water from the creek. So we have some water for tonight and we don't have to come down here in the rain. Cannot get over this view though, this is gorgeous. Streams right down here, just gotta find a good place to go down to it. Found a little trail down to the water right here. There we go. Three liters of water. I can't tell which way this weather's going. Oh well. I really hope it doesn't rain. I'm starting to like see some blue through in pretty much every direction. Yeah. Hope for the best. Doesn't look dark at all in that direction anymore. No. But I don't know. I guess we'll see. A little bit of rain now. We got everything kind of packed up and in the tent just in case. And we're going to feed the doggies now in case this rain actually starts like pouring. Our camp is right over there where Frankie and Catherine are. They have to eat away from each other because he'll try to eat all of Frankie's food. But I'm just a little bit over from camp now. And look at this view. There's another little lake down there. You can even call that a lake. It's kind of small. Look at this. Luckily, it's also lightly raining and it hasn't started pouring yet. It drizzled for a few minutes, but then the rain stopped. But now it's looking really ominous. Like, look at the sky over there. It's not looking good. So we're just trying to finish up our food, get kind of prepared to go into the tent and just in case we have to. And we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we get to hang out here for a little bit longer. But if we have to end up hanging out in the tent all night you know it's not the end of the world the sky is looking very ominous and it's starting to rain so we're going to get in the tent and just hang out in there for a little while and hopefully the rain will stop yeah, cards are definitely something you should always bring if there's a chance of rain because you might get stuck in the tent <laughs> <laughs> right guys it's really coming down now they seem to be chilling though actually see might not be able to tell on the camera but it's hailing See those little specks of hail? <laughs> the forecast said it's only supposed to rain until about 8 though, and it's about 6 p.m. now, so hopefully only two more hours of this. The rain and hail stopped, and it's actually pretty sunny over to the side. You probably can't really tell, but kind of see the sun there on the side of the tent. I just took a peek out and over to that side where the sun's coming from, it looks really nice, but it still is looking kind of sketchy over to this side of the tent. So we're going to see, we're going to hang on the tent a little bit longer since the ground's still super wet. Otherwise the dogs are just going to be really dirty when we get out there. We're going to hang out in here a little bit longer. Hopefully no more rain. And then hopefully we can go out and watch a beautiful sunset. Look at this view. Those clouds are so cool in that valley. Sun dip behind the mountains here. And we just watched the last of the sun that was on these mountains here. This is so beautiful. What an amazing view from camp. It's almost eight o'clock, not too late. It's not even fully dark out yet, but we're both exhausted. So we're probably just gonna go in the tent and go to sleep. We'll pick this back up in the morning when we head up to the lake for sunrise. Look at how quickly this fog is moving in. <laughs> She's fully on my pad. We're going to bed. Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs> Good morning. It rained quite a bit more than we thought it was going to last night, but we stayed somewhat dry. 
And now we are gonna head out to the lake and try to take in some beautiful sunrise views. Catherine's on the trail we just came from. That continues up to the top of Mount Harvard. And we're gonna go over this way to Bear Lake. This is a perfect example of something I wanted to mention. This is a sign here, restoration area, please stay off. That's because people didn't want to go through this mud, so they've made a little social trail through here around the side. Please don't do that. Don't create little social trails around it. Just try to stay as clean as you can, but you're going to have to go through the mud. Couldn't think of a better place to watch a sunrise. That light's gonna keep on coming down the mountain here. It's gonna be so pretty. It was so nice watching the sun come up over that lake. It is an absolutely beautiful morning. Just hoping it stays this way today because all of our gear is soaked and we really need to dry it out. We're gonna head back over to our campsite now and make some breakfast. I just can't get over these views up here. Back to camp, home sweet home. Got our rain fly off over there to dry out a little bit. Look at how wet this tent is. It was pouring for so much of last My night. Sleeping yeah, look at any anything that was like touching the side of the tent is wet. It's just been dripping, I guess, this morning since we've been hiking around. It's not a cloud in the sky though now, so I'm hoping today's gonna be nicer. We're gonna take a bunch of our stuff out of the tent and try to dry it out a little bit while we make breakfast. And then hopefully when we get to camp later, we can dry it out more. The other thing with that is we don't know if we're going to backpack again tonight. We're hoping if the weather's good, we're going to backpack again. But our stuff is already so wet that if it rains again, like I feel like we're just going to end up getting drenched. So on the way down today, we're going to try to see if we see any other backpackers coming up. And we're going to ask them if they know what the weather is going to be. When we checked yesterday, it wasn't supposed to rain any past 8 p.m. It probably rained from 8 all the way till midnight, like pouring, you think? Yeah. Yeah, like pouring. And then it kind of like teetered off, but still kind of rained uh, a bunch of the night really our stuff is so wet that i don't think it's even going to get fully dry and if it rains like that again we're not going to be in a great situation so hopefully we can talk to somebody on the way down they can either tell us like hey yeah the weather's actually gonna be way worse than it was supposed to today or it's going to be better because it's supposed to like rain a little bit midday today so if that's the case then we should be fine but if it's going to pour again tonight we might just hike up to that other lake come back down today and then we'll just camp out of the truck tonight because we just don't want to get absolutely drenched again. I also wanted to talk about our campsite specifically with this weather. We did not pick the most ideal campsite for this bad weather. Yesterday when we were hiking up, we passed a few sites and they were pretty exposed. We looked up this way and we saw, oh, there's a bunch more trees up there. It looks like forest up there. Hopefully there'll be some more campsites in the forest. And we got up here, we then realized, you know, these trees are pretty small. They're not big full-size trees that we thought they were. So really what we should have done was go all the way back down to where we got back into the big forest, got a good campsite under some nice cover because there did end up being some thunder and some lightning last night. While our campsite wasn't like really dangerous, it, we never really felt scared at all last night. Uh, there was some thunder and lightning, but it wasn't too bad. This probably just wasn't the most ideal campsite to have in a storm like that. We just thought the rain was going to end by 8 p.m. because that's what everything we looked at had said. And the chances of lightning when we looked also were very low. So we thought, oh, it's probably not even going to be a thunderstorm, just going to be a little bit of light rain. And when we got a little bit of light rain and then it stopped and it cleared way up, we're like, oh, we're perfect. We're good to go. 
this site's fine, but we should have just played it safe, been conservative and gone back down and camped in the more dense forest. We would have had more cover from the rain itself and we would have been a little bit safer from the possible, you know, lightning strikes and things like that that could happen. You never want to be on a high point or have, you know, no trees or anything around you in a thunderstorm. That can be really dangerous. Sun is finally hitting camp. Hopefully start drying some of this stuff out. Everything's so wet. <laughs> We're heating up some water now for our apple cinnamon quinoa, right? Yeah. yeah, this is another one of the recipes Catherine made and put in these mylar bags. They're nice and easy. Just pour in boiling water and we can enjoy. Tell me when to stop. That's good. Perfect. Hopefully these turn out good. This is our first time <laughs> trying these ones. Fingers crossed. The blueberry lemon oatmeal one turned out great. Yeah. That one was good. I don't know. Haven't read this one yet. <clears throat> and we like doing this with our meals because it does minimize our cleanup, keeps our pot nice and clean. Now we don't have to go down and, you know, clean this somewhere and deal with all that. So getting these Mylar bags was great. And how much was it? It was... I think it was like... It was less than a dollar a bag, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was... yeah, they're pretty cheap. I got like a pack of 30 or 50 of them. Yeah. So, so they're going to last us a long time. Yeah, you can get quite a few for really not that much money. And then you can just transfer things like, you know, oatmeals. You can make your own recipes like we did. Or you could just take, you know, a few packets of oatmeal and put them in here. Or you could take a few packets of ramen or like cup of noodles and just put them in here with the spice packets. And that just like really minimizes your cleanup that you have to do when you're at camp. Like you can just keep your pot nice and clean. And then you just, you know, seal the bags back up, put them in your trash bag and, you know, carry them out. This is my personal review of this. Um, you you like it, right? I mean, it's not my favorite. I probably would never make it again. Okay, so yeah. The consistency is weird. Catherine doesn't think it's great either, but I forgot. I haven't had quinoa in a long time. I don't know if you, everybody remembers, but maybe back, this had to be like 2013, 15, something like that. Quinoa like got huge, and like everyone's mom was probably making like a ton of quinoa. Um, during that time, I had so much quinoa that I just like grew to really not like it. I thought enough time had gone by that maybe I would like it again. That's not the case. Uh, also, I don't know, because Catherine just told me it's just cinnamon and honey in here for the spices, but I don't know if they like reacted with the quinoa or something in here, but there's something like each bite I take, it makes me like almost instantly feel like I'm going to like throw up. Yet you still are eating it. Like this is like the definition of like choking something down. So yeah, we would not recommend making the apple cinnamon quinoa. I'm sorry you don't like it. It's okay. Thank <laughs> you for making these. I don't know about you all, but I can pretty much eat anything. My taste buds are kind of trash. So like food doesn't really need to taste that good for me to eat it. But like just the part of it, like when I put it in my mouth, it like elicits like almost like a vomit response like it, so it's like hard it's just like hard to eat yeah, if something doesn't taste good i can still just like eat it it's usually fine but this is just like it's like trying not to throw up the whole time i'm eating it is the part that's making it difficult you don't have to finish it we can pack it out no it's okay i'll try to finish it so i'm not the only one Catherine just said to me i i don't think i can finish this i can't i just Something about it is, like, nauseating. Yeah, so you're getting that same, like, vomit response, kind of. Like I don't know. I just... Like, when you put it in your mouth, you instantly get super nauseous. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't want to swallow it. Yeah. But I also don't want to carry it out. Yeah, that's why I'm eating it, is because I don't want to have to carry the extra weight. I'd rather have it in my stomach. Um, and we made it, so I don't want to waste it. Yeah, true. We're going to try to finish these. <laughs> We'll let you know how it goes. We've given up. This is the face of defeat. Yeah, we, we can't finish them. We're just going to carry these out as is. Like That's so bad. The last bite I just took, I actually almost just threw up. So, yeah, I don't want to push it anymore. So I'm done. And Catherine has given up as well. If I had to give a rating, I'd say like 1 out of 10. We're going to get everything packed up, clean up camp, and then start heading down to head up to the next lake.